Hello, my name is Edward Rakers. I'm from Kayak, and you're watching Life Prog. Welcome to Life Prog, and welcome to a new video review. As always, I am your host, Marcel Haster, and I am really excited about the album I have for you. So I'm gonna make the introduction really small, and I can talk a little more about the album and still keep it a nice review. Here we have it, Lana Lane, El Dorado Hotel. Okay, I'll be honest, I have a bit of a special connection with Lana Lay. I have a lot of music as you see, there are a lot of bands I have nearly almost all albums of, and Lana Lay is one of them. But not just Lana Lay, also from her husband, Eric Norlander, and the other band they work together with, Rocket Scientists. Now, why is that? Around 2000, I got in touch with Eric Norlander, well, we connected, uh, we've been friends ever since, we did a lot of things together. A few years back, Eric, Lana and Mark McRide stood exactly where I am standing right now. So, well, as you can see, a special connection. The last album by Lana Lane was released uh, in 2007, Red Planet Boulevard. And after that, she did release uh, a Best Of album, but apart from that, um, well, at least here in Europe, it got a bit quiet. In America, she did uh, some gigs with Eric Norlander, but she didn't record any new material. Now, about five years later, we have a new album, El Dorado Hotel. Again, with, well, the cover by Jacek Jerka. Uh, well, it's basically um, the artist that all of her covers come from. And I must say, uh, well, ever since I know her music, I know her albums, I really like those covers. They belong to well, Lana Lane. And, you know, this one is no exception. I really love this one. Miss Lane and of course the tracks and the lineup. Over the years, uh, Alana and Eric have worked with a lot of musicians. They also worked with a couple of Dutch musicians, Ernst van A and Peer Verschuren. They did a couple of albums together. And the interesting part is that although the music of Alana is very characteristic, when you hear one of her songs, you immediately can hear this is Lana Lane. It is really interesting to see uh, that along the way when they were working with all these musicians, these musicians also brought in their inspiration and kind of, uh, yeah, also had their influence on the sound of the music. Now, the same happens with this album, El Dorado Hotel. I can honestly say um, I reviewed, well, a lot of albums by Lana Lane over the years and despite the fact that we were really good friends, I've always been well, honest and open about my reviews and about her music. Now, let me be completely honest about El Dorado Hotel. This one. I can say with well, very strong conviction that I think this is the best album Lana Lane has released to this date. I really mean that. Um, when I was listening to it, and, and, and I gotta say, you know, I, I was looking forward to, you know, I was wondering when will there be some new music. And when it finally was released, normally I always, always wait for the album, but in this case, I couldn't resist and I listened to some tracks that they put up on their website. And I gotta say, what I heard, I loved it. Now I have the complete album, and I absolutely love this one. And I like, well, Again, it is characteristic Lana Lane music, it's melodic, but I absolutely love her voice. The way she sings on this album, well, her voice only seems to get better. That's, that's the idea I have when I listen to the music. And on this album, I think she never sung as good as you can hear on these tracks. What I also like is that she also writes 
her own songs. Now all of them, uh, Eric Nolander writes a lot for her. Uh, Mark McBride writes a lot and he wrote some really classic songs. But in this case, I can say that Lana Lang wrote a classic. The title track, El Dorado Hotel, is so stunning, so beautiful. This is absolutely one of the highlights of the album. There are more, but El Dorado, the title track, El Dorado Hotel, is, is for me, is a brilliant song. I really love it and Lana Lang wrote it, lyrics and music. So kudos, Lana. Amazing song. Um, now, let's look at the lineup because um, again, Eric has been working with different people and these other people have play, are playing a part on the album. So next to Lana and Eric, we have of course Mark McRide, we have of course Don Schiff, no surprises there. Um, Neil Citron, not really a surprise because they worked together well. Um, but we have John Payne. Again, it shouldn't be a surprise because Eric Norlander is a kind of part of uh, John Payne's Asia, or his version of it. Interesting that John Payne here does uh, some harmony vocals and plays mandolin on a lot of tracks. I really love that addition of it. You know, the subtle addition of an instrument gives it a real beautiful feeling towards. Um, we have a couple of guitar players, um, one of them being of course Mark McRide, uh, but we have also Bruce Bouillet, uh, Neil Citron, I mentioned him, Freddie DeMarco, and Guthrie Govan is also doing some guitars on this album. Um, and we have Mark Matthews doing bass, and again, someone who shouldn't be a surprise, Jay Schellen on the drums. Jay Schellen, of course, also from the John Payne Asia version. So, an interesting bunch of musicians, and all of them well, top of the bill musicians. And together, they really make some beautiful music on this album. Now, when we open it up, the CD, of course, and we have again the hard work. Um, now, let's take out. To read with Lana Lane CDs, you always have plenty to read because, well, they are noted for the liner notes. Um, apart from that, you know, there's not much artwork inside, but there are, of course, a lot of lyrics. So you can sing along and you can see which musician is playing along with which song. And here we have, of course, this Lana Lane. Now, musically, it is a fantastic album. It is beautiful melodies. It rocks. It has some, well, for me, unexpected, you know, sounds in it. So um, I, I really enjoyed it. It was, for me, very adventurous to listen to this album. Um, you know, I don't have the feeling that Lana Lane is repeating herself, but she is really uh, finding new elements to add to her music and make it interesting to listen to. And even so, her voice is for me the main reason to listen to her music. Um, I mentioned uh, El Dorado Hotel being well, one of the highlights. Um, there are a lot of beautiful songs on it. The Rocky opener, um, A Dream Full of Fire, is a stunning song, really, you know, up tempo, rocks very much. Um, we have a lot of beautiful songs. I'm not gonna name them all because, well, it, you can take some more time if we do that. Um, two I'm going to mention, Hotels, which is really beautiful, soft ballad, you know, when she sings. Um, and by the way, don't be surprised if you hear some heart influences on this album. Heart, you know, and, and Nancy Wilson are absolutely the favorite musicians of Lana Lane. And you can hear some of the influences in the album, at least I heard them, I don't know if you're going to hear it as well. Um, in Exile is the final track of the album, the longest track, which clocks nearly 12 minutes. Again, a fantastic track with a lot of beautiful um, new elements in the music, 
fantastic vocals by Lana Lane. Now, I really need to shut up because I can go on for a while and I don't want to do that to you. So, Lana Lane El Dorado Hotel. If you are a fan, if you are familiar with Lana Lane, get it. If you're not familiar, buy this album. You will absolutely love it.